Hi everyone, Married Espresso Press Design. Thank you for joining me today on this Tuesday, May 21st, 2024. Today we're going to be doing another 12 by 12. This is one of my favorites. Absolutely love it. And I hope you will too. But first, the usual, as always, thank you to my customers and viewers and commenters. And thank you so much for watching my channel. I appreciate it very much. So thank you to Pamela, Brenda, Candy, another fabulous order from Nana's Vintage Trunk. You, you helped me um, be able to shop this week. Alicia, Leslie, Marta, and Gwendolyn. So yeah, I really appreciate that. I got some square dies, which have been on my list for a while. Now I have to get circles, rectangles, squares, and I have to get circles. So, the only one new product this week, and it's a collage papers herbal collage which is a variety of papers with different herbs and text and nice and vintagey on the back can't wait to use that as well one of these days I'm gonna start doing some projects with my own paper but today we're going to be making another one from Septeria 18. It's not 17. I think it's Septeria 18. Sandy is her name. She comes up with the most fabulous things. And this is absolutely one of my all-time favorites. And I'm going to show you how to make this little tab too, which I thought was genius. You know I don't really like using string or ribbon, but that was a new one. And this little folio has a pocket here, pocket here, and then you flip. It has a little flap, a little page, and you get a card here. and a pocket here and a pocket here and I'm also going to show you how to make this little envelope that she attached to this little flap which I turned into a pocket as well well that's not quite wide enough but I'd have to put something smaller and she did some really cute little things on the back here, so I'm going to share her video as well. So that's what we're going to make today. Just love it. It's a little flippy floppy. It's a little, little more advanced, but it's not too difficult. I hope. I watched it again this morning just to make sure. And I'm going to be using um, die cuts with a view Regency. Love this paper. Absolutely love it. And I love the quality of this paper. Wait, let me turn this this way so you can get a little view of the designs. I'm not a fan of foil, but I just love the, the little tiny floral patterns and patterns. Love that. Almost used that, but I wasn't sure how the bird would end up, so I didn't. So I'm using that. I got that at Joann's on sale for a steal. Love the quality of this paper. So you'll need a 12 by 12, which I already cut because I had to do it on the larger guillotine. 
you'll need a six by eight for our envelope. And I have some little extras here to make the little tab, string tab. So when you are, I'm going to pretend I'm putting this back together. When you are cutting, if you have a directional paper, make sure it's vertical because then you will be, you know, assembling like so. And you want your design to go correctly. So that's, that's a tip from her. And I decided to use the vertical, just decided to use a directional. Um, so that I could also give you that tip. And then this little flap, <laughs> be aware because I put mine in upside down. So when we get to that, pay attention to that. Okay, <clears throat> so let me just get these directions out here. So you're going to cut it in half at six by six, vertical. So then you'll have one that is 6 by 12, and then you're going to cut this one at 9 and a quarter, and then you will have a 2 and 3 quarter piece as well. So we're going to start with our 6 by 12, and you'll need a scoreboard and some glue and some scissors. You won't, unless you want to punch notches in your little pockets here, which I didn't. You won't even need a punch this week. So, okay, we're going to start at the um, 6 by 12. And the side you want for your cover, you want that face down. So I want my butterflies on my cover, so I'm going to face it down. And then we are going to score at two and a half. And I know you're not going to see this. Seven. And ten and one quarter. So that's two and a half, seven, and ten and a quarter. And that's our six by twelve. So let's put that aside. And then we will get our nine and a quarter. And again, whatever side you want on the front, which I'm doing all of mine face down the same way. And we are going to score this at four and seven and a half. Okay, so there's that one. And then our last one Again, face down, and this one can get flipped either way, but I'll show you that when we get to it. And we're going to score this at half an inch. This is to make our little flap. Okay. So, we're done with that. So we're going to start with our large piece, and we have our smallest side, the one we scored at um, 10 and a quarter. That is going to get folded back, and then this one is going to come forward, and then this one is going to get folded over. All 
also forward. So then you're left with that. Okay, so there's piece number one. So then this one comes forward. And this one comes forward. So then you're left with that. And when you turn it over, it's not even. So there's piece number two. And then this one is our half an inch. We're going to do that. And then we're just going to trim a little angle. Off the corners. And then that is our little flap. Okay. So, then we'll need some glue, if I didn't mention that. So we're going to take our first piece, and we're going to get this glued and this glued so it's out of the way. We're just going to glue that here and here, make our pocket. And just put new glue. Hopefully it doesn't come out like a river. Get that glued. get this um, evened up a little better here. Okay, so there's our first pocket glued. Then we're going to glue here and here. Hope everyone's doing well. I'm so happy to say we finally have sun, so I'm early today because I want to get outside. Because it's back to thunderstorms tomorrow. Okay, so there's our this piece finished. So then, <clears throat> this piece is going to go like this. And that is going to make our front flap. So you can see that. Okay. But then this piece is going to get glued on here first. And how do I want that? Do I want it like that or match it? I think I want it opposite this time. Okay. So remember, that's going to get glued to our second piece, which was our nine and a quarter piece. And it's going to get gl glued to this big part. Right? Yeah. 
Wait, I gotta put that back together because I'll get it mixed up of how we're supposed to go. Yeah. This is our cover. Okay, so I think I want this going this way so it's, well, maybe not. Let me see. How am I going to get that? Well, I can't. Right? No, I can't because mine will be. My butterflies will be upside down. Maybe that's what happened. Okay. So when we glue this to this, we have to leave a little bit of space so that um, our flap doesn't, um, our flap can open and close. Or our flap, our flap can flip. So we're just going to glue along that half inch edge. I'm going to line it up almost to the um, score line. And get that glued in. And there's our flap. And then I'm going to turn this, and you see our little flippy flap. That's kind of what helps me remember where this is supposed to go. That's the edge of our flap. So then we're going to glue this here, here, and here, and fold that over. And then that will be this pocket. This is the part where it does get a little tricky. Let me make sure I get my glue in the right place because I can't see because of this pattern. Okay, so just remember that when um, you're putting this together, that's the other side of your little flap. And that is going to get glued inside this pocket. Make sure everything's nice and lined up. Okay. Okay, so there's our cover. There's our flap. There's our pocket, there's our pocket. So see, once you get it, <laughs> once you do it once or twice, and as I said, I watched it again this morning. Just so I could remember. And I didn't notch my, I didn't notch my pockets. You can if you desire. Okay. So there we go. Love it. And there's your back. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay, I'm just going to make sure everything's nice and burnished. I mean, it it holds, it folds. You don't, really don't need a closure, but I'm going to do it with you, just so we know. But first, we're going to make our envelope. So you'll need a six by eight for the envelope. 
and then we're going to put it on the six by eight side, the sixth side, and we're going to score it half an inch. No, we're going to score it half an inch on each side of this, and then we're going to turn it. Well, I'm going to lose my butterflies. Another half an inch. And then we're going to turn it. And we're going to score at two and three quarters. And six and a quarter. Okay, so that's half an inch on each side of the six inch side, and then turn it, and then that's two and three quarters, and six and one quarter. Okay, so let's get these flaps in here. And I wanted to show you this because I love the way she makes her envelopes. This is going to look so boho. Wish I wouldn't lose those butterflies, but well. Okay, so we're going to cut out. This is the top of our envelope. We're going to cut out the top two rectangles, the top and the bottom rectangles. So let me get on the line here. Another busy week this week. Went went dress shopping for graduation yesterday. Jeez, oh, I'm not seeing that very well. So tomorrow is Senior walk and practice, and then an award ceremony. Which it would be great if she got another scholarship. This isn't straight, so. Oh man, that's definitely not straight. I'm going to try to straighten this up a little bit. And then, uh, just making it worse. Went way off my score line there. Okay, that's a little better. So let me get these cut off. I like this paper. I like this side too, but I have two sheets of this, so... I thought my chances of using those strips as strips are probably slim and none. So I saved all these little things if I want to make some tags or something. 
Okay, so there's the beginnings of our envelope. Yeah, did I say I'm early today because I want to get a supposed to be 84, 85, and I want to get out before, okay, oh, you know what, I, I was supposed to round those, <laughs> yeah, I forgot, oh well, let me show you here, see how she rounded those, looks gorgeous. She rounded all corners, but mine will be different. So I'm going to round the other ones. I forgot that. If I can get my rounder out. Okay. Yeah, if you want to round those, fold this in so that you can get your rounder in there better. That was a tip from her. And then I'll just do these ones. too bad because I I think her envelopes are so cute. Okay. So here's our little envelope. Let me get that. little mess going on here. Okay. So then we're just going to glue. And we had a fire last night. And then we had a fox. Fox in the, well, not the yard, walking across the street. So then I couldn't let the cat out all night and he was not happy. So I had to feed him some chicken just so he would go to sleep and quit bothering me because. You know how they are, summertime, they like to be out all night. Okay, a little repair to do there as well. Okay, so let me get this glued in here. And I think that's going the right way. <laughs> and I think I'm going to make it a pocket as well. I love this. Look at that. It's so cute. That way I don't have to worry about decorating the back. Love this. Okay. Let me get this in here evenly. I 
did the same thing last time, smeared it all over the place. Okay. Make sure you don't have any seepage, which I do. I went up too far. Okay. So that's a pocket. Let me get this so you can see it. There's a pocket. There's a pocket. I made that a pocket. There's our little envelope. And of course you'll probably want to put some kind of closure on there. Let me just get that. Oh no, you know what? That's going upside down. Oh well. It is what it is. I didn't even think of that. Those flowers are upside down. Oh, I thought I was good by going that way. Oh well. Still cute. Okay, still boho. Still like it. I'll tell you what. Di paper direction. I should have flipped my envelope so my flap was on this side. Okay, pay attention. Pay attention to that if you are doing something similar. Learn from my mistakes. Okay, so then we just need a little piece. And I thought... I mean, there is purple in there. Should I just go plain again? Um, I think I'm going to keep it boho. If I go with the purple, no, I think I'm going with this. Okay, and I think I made that four inches and it's two inches. So let me just cut that off. Where are we? 34. And I have one more little tip for you regarding this. I'm just going to fold that in half. Okay, and I think I'm going to make the corners a little decorative. Okay, so when you're doing this, you don't want this over this edge because you won't be able to open your book. So you want it inside, inside that outer edge a little bit. Okay, so the hard part was, for me, getting it centered. So I know this is six. I just made a little mark. Okay, went about up to there. Get 
that nice and straight. And then I put some glue. Whoops, don't move. And then I glued. Then I flipped it over. Then I glued. Okay, like so. And then I found the center of that. And I just used this tiny hole punch. I didn't didn't like the idea of a big hole in the center of there. And then there's my little tab for my string. Then my string better get two twelves and a half. Because mine wasn't quite long enough. Okay. So what's that? About 30 inches. To go around twice. Okay, let's get this evened up. Wait, no, actually we shouldn't. We should come over here and then go around, right? I'm going the wrong way. Maybe I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I was. Okay, there we go. It's still not even. Okay, that's a little better. Right, that's twice. Well, I could probably do three with this one, but I'm not. Just get a little bow. Okay. Here we go. So that's how you make the tab and that's the tip for the tab and then love that because you don't actually you could even tie that let's try that see what happens get that even See what happens if we tie it and we never lose your string. Yeah, do that. 
yeah do that tie it if you want and then you have your cute little envelope this page you can decorate where's my cards your one pocket your two pocket and she did some cute little things on this side which I just turned mine into another pocket so aside from my upside down mistake my two upside down mistakes <laughs> there is our interactive folio and here is the first one again one pocket two pocket flip envelope pocket 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 okay oh good those will look good for my photo super cute okay everyone so i think that'll be it and then we'll do another one next week and then we'll take a break as usual and we'll do something else so thank you so much for joining me today i'll see you next time you have a great week and i hope yours is sunny and you will enjoy the summer weather. Have a great week. Thanks for your time. Bye.